To see a strong return on commercial real estate investment, you need to ensure that opportunities are identified intelligently, acted upon quickly, and realized successfully. And that's where our next guest's firm is unmatched in the robustly performing Canadian commercial real estate market. Darcy has extensive experience in real estate investment, asset management, and sourcing capital in Canada and internationally. And he joins us on the program now to give us the big picture. Darcy, welcome. Thank you. Darcy, let's talk about location. Why Canada for commercial real estate? Well, there are a few main reasons we believe Canada is a great place to invest in commercial real estate. The first would be our overall relative strength versus other G20 nations. We've fared well since the 08 financial crisis. Our rich resource sector has benefited from the global demand for commodities, which has also helped our currency. Furthermore, a high level of skilled immigrants that come into Canada each year enhance our country's overall productivity. Finally, I'd add that our conservative banking system has not only helped keep our economy afloat, but has made Canadian commercial real estate a safe haven for foreign investors as interest rates have stayed low and leverage ratios have remained conservative. Well, what about Toronto? What opportunities are we seeing there? Toronto is the financial hub of Canada, so it benefits regardless of where in Canada there's growth. All economic activity at some point touches Toronto. As commercial real estate investment managers, our strategy focuses on the greater Toronto area and southern Ontario, which represents a diverse and growing economy. Generally speaking, commercial real estate supply and demand has been balanced, and we expect these sound space market fundamentals to persist. As Toronto and secondary cities in Ontario grow and densify, we believe there will be numerous infill repositioning opportunities. An example of this would be converting industrial space into flex combined industrial and office or outright creative office space. You know, today investors are looking for asset classes that perform well in good and bad economic environments. How can value-add commercial real estate help investors here? By focusing on the value-add space, one can effectively hedge against capital market and macroeconomic cycles. We believe in underwriting areas over which we as managers have some control. For instance, increasing property level revenue or decreasing the associated cost. And that's how we add value to the uh, portfolio. We tend to favor well-located properties that have smaller tenants representing numerous industries. We thereby limit exposure to any one company or industry. And although this approach is certainly more management intensive, it's what we do well and it allows us to generate superior risk-adjusted returns for investors, which have been 15.5% net returns since the fund's inception in 2005. So we feel that investors who are looking for a combination of income and capital growth with some diversification and a hedge against the volatility of the capital markets would benefit from investments such as the Epton Real Estate Fund. Darcy, thanks so much for coming on the program today. Great. Thank you. That was Darcy McGee, president of Evton Capital Partners. Get in touch by visiting www.evton.com. That's E-V-T-O-N.com.